South Africa versus England. It's the fourth Castle Test match, day number one, and it's live to you from the Bull Ring in Johannesburg. A face up once again, Andrew Strauss to face the first ball. He decided to bat. He faces Dale Stain. Oh, has he got him? Yes, he has. Very first ball. What a fantastic catch from Hashim Amla. It's a ripper that. England, one down. This catch will need some seeing again. Reflex catch. This will give us a great angle off the face of the bat. Amla in tight, one handed. You couldn't have wished for a better catch or a better start. That's a real ripper. Strauss gone for none. England, none for one. He's played decently through the series. Jonathan Trott, it's been a homecoming for him. Good length. Very good length that England get their first runs. Asking Jonathan Trott to come forward. Mr. Cook takes strike. He's got this one tucked onto that onside. It's his 50th consecutive test match for England. Some feet, that. Oh, inside edge, and it's gone for four. Oh, big shout. Big shout. Oh, he's gone. He's been given out. South Africa have struck twice in two overs. Seven for two. Flying across it, full straight. That's the length. All around it. Out. The moment it struck him, out. England is seven for two. Two overs gone. This test series poised rather nicely. The feel is a bit sporty. Shot. Very nice shot. Oh, this is uh, one of Peterson's strengths. Two straight and uh, more often than not, he'll take care of it. Out, put me down. Well, 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 you don't often see Peterson play the pull shot. It's not a shot that is really in his repertoire. Yes, threw me down from outside off stump when the ball's full. But when it's just a bit short, you don't often see that. And he's... He's perished for it. Well, he's absolutely crunched this, has he? Straight in that on. Parnell takes his uh, first test catch as well. Well, an unhappy tour for Peterson. He's gone for seven, 32 for three. Oh, that's shot. That is very close and out. Trapped on the crease. That is the length I was talking about. This ball coming back into him, pitched up. It could be a little high, if anything else. It's right arm over to left-hander as well, so he'll be thinking, has it pitched in line? Now, Collingwood's gone all the way down there to have a look, looking up and down the pitch. This is taking far too long. Too long. Have they decided to review? Ah, here we go. Enough of the ball has pitched on, pitched in line, impact in line, hitting the wickets. He's going to give it out, but there will be there will be some uh, there will be some ramifications over that no ball. It was a really tight call. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That dressing room is going to go off now. I've got to say. So would yours. Well, Alistair Cook goes for 21. England 39 for four. I'm really tight. Yep. I'm just thinking, wow, I think that's a tad unfair on the, on the bowler. That'll be, I tell you what, there'll be pictures of that all over the world. Driven four. Two full. That will run away. Trying to make that ball swing, trying to get it up there like he did at Newlands. That's a lovely shot. Just swung onto the pads and 
Paul Collingwood able to beat square leg and get for shot good shot this time it'll go for four goodness he's got that he's got all of that it's gone for six well he's McLaren's caused a couple of problems this over. That was a sort of uh, bottom hand off the bat. Not sure the length was. Oh, well played. Beautifully bowled, but that was well played. And we see that again. The ball swung away and he just released his hands a bit, just rode the shot. Shot. Well driven. Well driven from a man in form. Oh, where's that gone? Where's that gone? No, is it it clean? Is it it clean? Another six. It carries so far in Joburg. You know that, just like it in a golf ball. It goes much further here. That squeeze past Carlos at slip, and it'll run away for four more valuable runs. That takes the score to 104. So 100 at, at lunchtime. In the air. A backward point, squared him up, outside edge, and McLaren very much deserves that first test wicket. Yeah, what a moment for Ryan McLaren. First test wicket, he'll remember this for the rest of his life. Stands up a little bit off a length, leading edge. JP Dooman is fast enough to react and a comfortable catch. South Africa have got their fifth wicket. Paul Collingwood, Collingwood goes for 47. The score moves on to 115 for five a shot or two from him 1250s 200s averages 42 which is outstanding clipped away by Pryor and for four so McLaren wonderful over disappointed with the last ball full this time from Morkel and Bell's weight was on the back foot but he was quick to adjust and come forward and stroked it beautifully through the covers Oh, that's a poor delivery short it just sat up which is still on the slow side well he's knocking over great delivery by Bellstein the breakthrough South Africa won it it's pitched up up there darts ball just off the pad a little bit just off the pad and uh, if anything just a bit late on it and South Africa another big strike Ian Bell goes for 35, that's 133 for six. Catch it as the call is gone! He's gone for the big pull shot and the glove straight through to the keeper. Seven down. Of Matt Pryor for 14 England, 136 now for seven. Here's a look at it. Gone for the pull shot, it's way too quick for him. It's wrapped him on the gloves and gone nicely through to Boucher. And that's a telltale sign when Boucher tosses the ball in the air. Nicely done. It was short enough and he managed to get it through cover. That's a fantastic shot. Got him! He's just hit one to mid on. He's batted in aggressive fashion, short broad, and has been hard at the ball. It's been his downfall this time because just a chick shot, but it's carried all the way to mid on. Don't be fooled by appearances. That's a good catch. England now, 148 for eight. Shot. Wonderful shot. He's driven that on the up for four. Gone! Ryan Sidebottom goes forward to defend and his edges by Dale Stane. A comfortable catch to Mark Boucher and England on nine down. This is Boucher's 100th catch against England.
Stein proving today to be real class. Patient, aggressive in the areas. And it's been success for him in South Africa. One, 155 for now now. Just guided away by Swan through the gap between Gully and backward point. On the move forward as well. Cut away. That's the length that Swan will deal with. A little bit of width as well. Another boundary. Oh, he's hit that halfway up the bank. Beautifully played. It's just a banging delivery that sits up nicely. Onto that grass bank and all the children go charging after the ball. It's the front foot pull, really. He has it carried. Boucher says yes. The umpire says yes. And the time is almost bang on three o'clock. So we'll have to see whether that isn't tea immediately. I think it will be. Be a 20-minute tea, which will include the break of innings. Good catch this, David. Very good catch inside edge, and it just lands through to a very dependable wicketkeeper, Mark Boucher. Five wickets now, and he's deserved them. Number one in the world, and he's shown exactly why. Dale Stain, hostile bowling, swing bowling, highest class. England all out for 180. Graham Swan, nice little innings there, 27, but England winning the toss, batting first, bundled out. 156 wickets and 46 tests for Jimmy Anderson. He's It really is just about the fact that bowlers will know how much pressure you're under. And nice shot, very nice shot. It was two four from side bottom and a punch from Ashwell Prince down the ground for four. Oh, that's a better forward shot though. And the look went with him. These conditions when the ball's moving. He gets his feet out, look. And because he didn't push hard at the ball, it ran off the edge into the gap. Catches the call and it's taken. Ashwell Prince caught it slip. A good delivery. Asked him to play and he could only edge it. It in the right areas. Just allows the ball. He's not a big swing of the ball. But by hitting the seam allows the ball to do something. And that's what's happened here. Prince not quite onto it properly. Bad at an angle. Footwork not good. So his disappointing form sadly continues. So I think now 36 for one. So I'm very fine and gone for four. And again, carbon copy. Two leg glances, very fine leg glances in a row for four. And again. He's looking to play that on the onside. He gets an edge and it doesn't go to hand. In fact, it goes all the way to the boundary for four. Broad, bowling well. Now he's bowling to his strength with that short. He'll hit them all day with my mum's frame fan. He won't need a bat. Bowl, another four. He's done him, but... Oh, he's got nine lives this morning as Mr. Smith. Still persisting with the in-swinger, and this is going to be clipped away, and Bell's got no chance. Shot. Really good shot, well timed. Graham Smith is so strong in that area, hardly misses out. Sweetly done. Well, Anderson is uh, throwing the carrot up there. And again. Anderson said, OK, if you're going to drive me, drive this. Interesting, just two slips and a gully. It's got to run. Oh, overthrows. It'll be five. Peterson not backing up. But I don't think he would have got there anyway if he uh, switched or switch off. Still persisting with that ball coming back into the left and uh, no problem. Four more. 
More. More fours on the onside. It's not the place to bowl. Brings up the South African 100. 102 for one. Nice shot. A touch too full and punch down the ground for four. Nobody's going to catch that. It's gone for four. A good drive from Graham Smith. Making use of his opportunity. That's gone fine. It'll go for four. Absolutely no chance. Four. That's a well played that. Down the wicket. With confidence, as Jeffrey Boycott is talking about, and he's hit it over mid on for a one bounce four, but. Oh. It's a bit of a smear, but it's going to go for four. He wasn't happy with that shot. Smith will be. Place that mid on, two back on the onside. He's nicked it through the slips for four. And how many runs have gone down to third man? This That's a good shot. I don't know about the fielding, but that's a better shot and takes him through to 50. I don't want to be batting last because it'll have hardened with the indentations. Oh, there's nobody down there. It's gone for four again in that third man area. Oh, how many times have you seen that? It's down to third man, it's four runs. Oh, pulled away. Didn't know that he had that shot in his locker. That'll do nicely. Not a single, hit it for four. Century for Smith. What an innings it has been. His second of the series. His sixth against England. And his second at the Wanderers. Outside edge of God caught for a slip. Thinking there was going to be a massive innings here for Graham Smith. He's got to 100 and he's gone. It's side bottom who's done him. Patch played. It's on a length, on a battle stump. Leave Smith, in fact, a bit shorter than that patch. Good catch. Good catch. Disappointment there, but another wonderful century for Graham Smith. Thought he would go on and get plenty here. South Africa have lost their second wicket. It's 201 for two. Look who walks in next. Jack Callis. Yeah. Gone! A good catch by the keeper, Pryor, diving to his right. He takes it in front of first slip. Nice Amla will quite possibly be disappointed with his shot. It was wide outside off stump. Three down South Africa. Was there a bit of movement? Yes. Amla, the shot was on, you've got to say, but not quite to the pitch of the ball. So England strike. Fine catch, fine catch. So Amla's long vigil comes to an end. South Africa now 217 for three. A.B. de Villiers in at number five for South Africa. That's a look at his test match career. Started up opening the batting for South Africa and did decently up at the top. Catches the call, has taken it. Is he out though? It's been given. And Jacques Collis is not going to contest the decision. It's two in quick succession. A wonderful catch at Gully having to run forward and dive. Got big on Callis for a start, looking to pull it. Doubt it was short enough though. Great catch. Fine catch, so England on top of the game here this morning. So often the rock of the South African batting. He has to go now. South Africa 217 for four. Good shot. Lovely shot. Down the ground for four off A.B. de Villiers' back. Inside edge, gone for four. Yeah. Out, out, B. 
beautifully bowled. First ball from Swan. Beautiful flight and turn. And he's gone. He doesn't want to go do it, but he's got to. Nice delivery. And he wonders why he nicked it. Well, good delivery. Graham Swan again striking, getting another left hand out, getting JP Dumini out once again, caught behind. So, disappointment for him. You can see it in his body language. He's gone for seven, 235 for five. Pulled away by De Villiers and pulled away hard enough for four. That's four. Yeah, that'd be real irritating. Crowd in today, you'd expect that. Pulled hard. Will that beat Cook? No, it will. Yes. Great shot. Four. Starts too straight. Gets uh, some bat on it and quickly to the fence. In a strange sort of a way, it'll be good if they are bowled out because it will take the onus of making a declaration, take it out of Grand Slam Sands. So that's pretty handy from the South African point of view. Nice shot, very nice shot. Good foot movement right out to the ball. A positive shot. Shot boy. There's his answer. But that was really good cricket. He's riding around the wicket, but a lovely chasse of the... Do a couple here. And that takes Boucher to yet another 50 in this series. His third. What an excellent series he's had with the bat. Oh yes, oh yes. Goes the offside this time, very deliberate. Massive leg slide field. Intent clear from South Africa. Oh, through him. And very tough those that slip. You're close because it's the spinner. And he goes for the cut shot. Did well to stand still. Shot. Oh. That is a great oh. shot. Oh. Quite sure whether that was a half volley, but uh, gee. In the air and straight to the man. He's tried to work that from outside the off stump and get it in the vacant mid wicket region. Sparkling innings comes to an end. Yeah, a great little knock uh, from De Villiers. Unfortunately, just gets it straight to Collingwood somehow so much space on the leg side and uh, finds the uh, the fielder one for 55 is three five five for six runs here McLaren gets off the mark in test match cricket good shot premeditated little tickle down the leg side and four you know, I'm really glad our director showed us that shot. Shot, beautiful shot. Into the shot, wait into the shot, through extra cover. Worked away nicely, beautiful time to the runaway for four. Pulled away, beautifully. Deep backward square leg didn't see it, but if he had, it wouldn't have helped him. It's pick it up uh, in the crowd, cut away four more. He's going to get there quickly. If he does, if he does get a hundred, he's going to get there quickly. Four round the winger, trying to swing it across him. Four hundred up for South Africa. Top shot. Goodness me. That's as good a shot as we've seen this whole match from any batsman. Cries of catch it. Has it been taken? Oh! How many times have we seen Swan come into the attack and pick up a wicket in his first over? 
Good catch in the end. Not the least time to check in this ground because you battled to pick it up. Well, he didn't get to his 100, but it was an excellent inning. So, Boucher gone for 95, 419 for 7. That ends the over. 423 for 7. So, the captain's called him in. There's someone in the backup from a bowling point of view, Parnell or the other David Thompson, McLaren to really climb in as well. So, 423 for 7. Graham Smith. As declared, and under the good light conditions. Yeah, come on. They're on the board. In the second innings. Got him! That's him, he's gone! They've got wicket number one, and it's a super delivery, that. He's adjusted his line wonderfully. When your team really need a start, plants his front foot, tries to play the line, the ball jags away. He isn't dropping anything, Graham Smith. Crowd are absolutely alive here. Cook has gone for one, England six for one. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. It's that pace, that. Yes, nice shot. He's on his pads, the angle, just used it. He stopped it. No, it's gone for four. Oh, there's a no ball up periscope as well and gone for four. It's off the bat, isn't it? First. Oh, wonderful. Absolutely brilliant. You ask for the perfect ball to the right hander. And as the bowler, that's exactly what you want. Good pace, some movement away. He has to play, it's on the right line. Edges it, caught it slip. The perfect delivery, pace, play anti, outside edge. Slip corded, does the job. He doesn't drop him, A.B. De Villiers. Absolutely on fire now. Jonathan Trott has gone for eight. England in deep trouble, 21 for two. On two down. Stroke. Beautiful shot. You also give Kevin Peterson a lot of confidence. Turned away on the onside this time with the same result. That'll run away for four. So two good strokes from Peterson. And that'll be uh, four more. Leg side, you see. That's the easy side for a batsman. Shot. A little bit uh, of width outside the off stamp, and uh, Strauss decided, well, I'm going to change the bowling. No, 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 I don't think you'll get that. Oh, he's giving him. Oh, is he, did he hit it? Was it two noises, or was it going down? I thought it was going down first. What did you think, Al? Well, I thought I, thought I heard two noises. Definitely. I, well, Strauss doesn't look so sure, but. Middle. He got a bit further over than I thought with his butt back to me. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he got further over than I thought at first. I must admit that. I thought it might just have been going down, but... Uh, he's on his way. The good decision by the umpire. Give them credit when they do it right, when they get it right. He's gone. Would you believe it? He's hardly moved a ball here, and that was just a straight ball sliding into the batsman, and Strauss has missed it. First test wicket for, for the youngster. Over the top, deliberately, short again, and four more. Oh, well played, sir. That's a really good shot from Paul Collingwood. It was short. And he was backing across and he... Oh, it's gone for four as well. Oh, it was quick, I tell you. It was much quicker than the one before. Good shot. 
very good shot because he just waited for the swing and just played it nicely didn't try to hit it too hard no it won't and when you see that again it's a little bit wide and that's the advantage you're in a left arm seamer he's cracked it open watch this yeah, see, when it pitches, it's wide of off stump. By the time he plays it, he could have left it alone by a long way. Yeah, lovely bowling. Teased him. Big mistake by Kevin Peterson. Runs. Well, that's probably gone for six. I didn't see where it finished up, but he gave that a real old crack for four, didn't he? Good shot. Very safe and simple. It's well fielded to Villiers. That, no, it isn't. It's roared through there. I thought he'd stopped it. <laughs> through there so quickly. Four more strikes. Ouch! Caught by Callas at second slip. Mornay Morkel rewarded with that persistent, just short of a length to Bell. Delivery by Mornay Morkel. Bell in no position. Previously, he dropped the gloves and let it go through. This time, he had offended at exactly what Mornay Morkel wanted. Comfortable catch for Jacques Carles. Bell is gone for five. South Africa on the way. 103 for five. Up in the air. Can anyone get under it? Yes, they can. Graham Smith runs back from first slip. Prior tested on the hook again. But on his way by South Africa this bouncer worked no position to play the hook shot even if, if it'd been there for a while it wasn't the ball to try and hook or pull Graham Smith doesn't make a mistake so prior gone second ball for Nort England on the way out 103 for six out is it down the leg side South Africa are very confident. Broad stands. He's up. Uh, they've, they've lost one. They've lost one. Yes, he's going for the review. Nothing wrong with the delivery. Foot behind the line, so that's all good. Off the glove. Well, that's definitely up. Can't really understand what the delay is. There you go. Broad, uh, his head goes down. 16 test matches. Driven down the ground, that's the way Swan will play. Won't get to the boundary, didn't really get all of it. Staying in pursuit and three to Swan. Pulled away, that's a very, very good shot, but Collingwood has been in wonderful form. Nice shot. Punch into the upside. And it's gonna go for four. A nice way for Paul Collingwood to bring up his 50 been dogged in his stays at the crease throughout the series oh that struck fiercely really good cover drive he gave that the kitchen sink Graham Swan and he's got four for it that's gone he steered that purposefully over the top of the slip cordon off the glove and it's going to go for four as well gone nicely off the edge into the hands of de Villiers. looks like we may be in for an early lunch nothing wrong with that that's bounced left him he seldom drops them. 
He's had a good series. England 134 for eight. In the air and again it goes over the slips off the bat of Collingwood. Four more. That's been the story really. Over the top. And that's going to be four. Six, I'm sorry. What a shot, maximum. Over the top again. Just a little bit of width and too short. Doesn't get too far across the stumps. Uh, Collingwood almost stays a little bit leg side. -ish. That's it! Yes! Well, can you believe it? Absolute long hop gets a wicket. He's got a golden arm, JP Dumini. <laughs> oh, my word. It is a complete and utter long hop. Look at this. He can hit that anywhere he would have liked, and he finds Mono Moko. <laughs> Straight to him, but well fought. Paul Collingwood. It's been a very, very good series for him. It finally comes at to an end. It's gone for 71. It's 154 for nine. Epi Dumini, can he wrap it up? Well, flicked away. Starts with a fairly short ball again and uh, four runs. Smash down the ground. McLaren again after it. And it'll reach the boundary again. South Africa have done it, they've leveled the series, so joy for Graham Smith, happiness in the dressing room, they are under lots of pressure coming into this test match, but job done for South Africa, not the ideal result, they would have dearly have loved to have won at home, but I guess this will make up for some earlier disappointments. I got a feeling that uh, these guys didn't want to come back after lunch, he's had a mow and he's been cleaned up. That's a great effort, and if some of these results could have been so different, Ryan McLaren making his ta a test debut. Dale Stein has uh, come to the party in the first innings, and uh, a very good performance. The hands go up in the middle there to the crowd, has been good yesterday and today to come and see South Africa do the job and finish England off. Good gesture from the players, great support. This whole Test Series has been a magnificent advert for Test Cricket. So that is the state of the match. That's exactly what happened. South Africa, they were very, very good. England chose to bat first. That was a mistake. They were bowled out for 180. Then South Africa's turn at the crease came. Conditions were still good for bowling, but the South African batsman responded and got 423 for seven. From that moment on, there was only one side that could win this match. England were going to have to bat unbelievably well to save the game. They couldn't do it. The South African bowlers did the business. They used conditions really well. There were rain interruptions. They lost time, but in the end, they were just too good for this England side. They dismissed them for 169 and it was a comfortable win for South Africa.